Maybe you are dealing with pain in your chest from a coronary problem, you are in need of a blood thinner or a painkiller, then it might be that your doctor has prescribed you acetyl salicylic acid, also known as aspirin. And this video is meant for you. We will cover how and when to use it, what side effects it can cause, what dosage you need, and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands, and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer, because educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. So let's get learning. So as mentioned, the generic name of this medication is acetyl salicylic acid, and it's known under the brand name aspirin. It's available as a tablet, suppository, or effervescent tablet. If you want to use it as a regular tablet, just swallow it whole with half a glass of water. If you want to use it as a suppository, then insert it into the anus. If necessary, you can first moisten it with a little water. This makes it easier to insert. If you want to use it as an effervescent tablet, dissolve the tablet in water, wait a moment till the fizzing stops, and then drink this glass of water. If you want to use aspirin as a normal tablet or effervescent tablet, then make sure to do so after you had a meal. This will lower your chances on potential stomach side effects, like stomach pain, etc. The effectiveness of aspirin comes from the inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis. This reduces fever, inflammation and pain, and furthermore, it prolongs bleeding time. This is why aspirin could be used as a blood thinning medication. Aspirin could also be used to treat aginopectoris, which is chest pain usually caused by insufficient blood flow to the heart muscle, it could be used to prevent heart or cerebral infarctions, and it can be used to reduce fever and pain. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use, and here I want to mention that I can only provide you with certain guidelines. Always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you, as specific dosages might depend on your indication of use, your side effects, and the symptoms you experience. However, when using an acid painkiller, most doctors will start with an initial dose of 500 to 1000 mg, 4 to 8 times per day when using tablets, for a maximum dose of 4 grams per day. When using it as a blood thinner, most doctors will prescribe a dose of 160 to about 200 mg on the first day and 80 to 100 mg once per day for the following days. Aspirin is a very effective drug, but unfortunately it can also cause some side effects. I will discuss some of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, then check your leaflet, ask your doctor or your pharmacist. The following side effects are seen when using aspirin as a painkiller. Common lead could cause stomach pain, nausea, vomiting. Uncommon lead could cause a skin reaction, such as a rash or edema. Rare lead could cause hypersensitivity reactions, gastrointestinal hemorrhage or severe skin reactions. And very rare lead can lead to Ray syndrome. If you're using aspirin as a blood thinner, it could cause the following side effects. Common lead might cause a hypersensitivity reaction. Uncommon lead could cause nausea, vomiting or diarrhea. Rarely it might cause gastrointestinal bleeding, and very rarely it could cause abnormalities in your blood or a blistering rash. Which brings us to the safety of use. As mentioned, the usage of aspirin could cause several severe side effects. If you experience any of these and do not feel safe to drive, then please do not do so. Furthermore, alcohol increases certain stomach complaints. If you do experience nausea or stomach pains after the usage of aspirin, then be careful to combine it with alcohol, as this could increase those side effects. In addition, aspirin could also cause interactions with other drugs you're taking, so always be careful and discuss those with your personal doctor. Lastly, for those of you which are pregnant or breastfeeding, aspirin could be dangerous. Also discuss its usage with your doctor. I hope you know now how and when to use aspirin, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. For those of you that can't get enough, check out the Instagram as well, at HowToMedicate, and please click the like and subscribe button. It will help out the channel tremendously, and it will make me able to put my videos to more and more viewers and help more and more people. It's free, and you can always change your mind. I will see you next week with a new video. Thank you, and bye-bye.